Hi everyone, happy Friday to you and I'm back here with Montessori Secrets series and today we are going to be talking about secret number four which is the sensitive periods. Have you noticed sometimes if you're watching your child that he or she gets very absorbed and very consumed in doing a certain activity, sometimes repeating it over and over again. And you watch and wonder, how come she's just doing the same thing over and over again? Well, this is because during the first six years of life, our children have certain sensitive periods. Now, these sensitive periods means that they are inclined towards doing certain activities, towards repeating certain activities, towards doing certain things over and over again because it gives them satisfaction and it's easy for them to learn these things during the first six years of life. Maria Montessori called these sensitive periods windows of opportunity for the children because when we nourish these sensitive periods, it's easy for them to learn through them and they can reach their optimum. She identified six different sensitive periods for the early childhood years. They are sensitivity to order, sensitivity to movement, sensitivity to language, sensitivity to socialization, sensitivity to learning through the senses, and sensitivity to working with small objects. Now over the next few weeks, I'm going to be coming back every week and we're going to talk about each of these sensitive periods. I'm going to expand on them. I'm going to give you some ideas of how to nourish them at home or in school with your children. And we are also going to talk about the adverse effects that if we don't support these sensitive periods for our young children, how it may affect them adversely as they grow up. I look forward to coming back to you over the next few weeks as we learn about the sensitive periods together. Have a wonderful weekend and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notifications whenever I upload a video. Bye.